there, reviewers, viewers, Hulu's plans. Better than ever, what used to be kind of a mediocre cloud TV package, now one of the strongest options available. Thanks to some strategic bundles and partnerships, Hulu plus live TV has the goods for a whole family of viewers and modular plans can tack on fun extras for premium channels. But the world of cord cutting isn't quite as cheap as it used to be. While Hulu is a strong player against other options, is it the right fit for your cash? And in between re-watching the Predator films for the fourth time since Prey was released, we hope you'll keep up with all the work here on Reviews.org. I really liked Prey. It was a fun movie. Hit those subscribe options down below, give us a follow around the socials, and check out that home site, Reviews.org. We've got a great team of people making you some really fun stuff to watch. So dang, Hulu got good. Hulu Originals, Live TV, and a bundle with Disney Plus and ESPN Plus this is a fantastic cable TV competitor. The Cloud DVR now includes unlimited recording instead of the paltry 50 hours of recording. And like other Cloud TV options, there's no plan or additional setup or lock-in or fees. You can use it as long as you want. You can cancel it when you want to, then you can sign back up if you decide to. We're pretty well agreed on the reviews team. If you're looking at Hulu, the $76 a month plan probably makes the most sense. There is a $70 a month plan, it's a little cheaper, but that includes ads. The extra six bucks for ad-free streaming, well worth the price hike in our opinions. The main bummer on plan restrictions, you're not going to land quite as many live channels as YouTube TV, and you only get two concurrent streams at the same time. It's another 10 bucks a month to get unlimited streams. I really wanna know what that word unlimited means here. At some point, I'm gonna need to stream all the review phones in my office at once to see how many my Wi-Fi can handle. But I digress. Really, no complaints on offerings here. It's a solid all-rounder package. I think YouTube TV is a little stronger for sports with NBA and MLB. YouTube also has PBS, but the flip side, of course, is getting Disney Plus and ESPN Plus included in the price. Just looking at TV, YouTube is a little stronger, but ad-free Hulu originals, Disney and ESPN is a combo that YouTube doesn't directly have an answer for. YouTube originals didn't really pan out. I'm a huge fan of Cobra Kai, now on Netflix. I suppose YouTube's 4K add-on is kind of fun. It delivers a pretty seamless offline viewing mode, but cloud to cloud, I think we're in pretty even territory. Factor in premium add-ons like HBO Max, Showtime, and additional sports packages, and most of our cord cutting solutions are going to look similar by the time you pick your configuration of channels. Let's put some numbers out there. If you got Hulu with ads and live TV, 70 bucks a month, and you paid for an entertainment channel add-on to close some of the TV gap with YouTube, you'd be looking at roughly 78 bucks a month. If you signed up for YouTube TV and then you got the Hulu Disney ESPN bundle on its own, you'd be looking at $79 a month. Both would have unlimited DVR. YouTube would give you three concurrent streams while Hulu would only give you two. There really is no one winner in this space, which is a good thing, but it also means consumers, they need to spend a little more time shopping around the best fit for their needs. It's a good problem to have, but you gotta break down the channels that you really wanna watch. You gotta look at the add-ons and streaming services that you really want. And then also, I think we all need to get into a better habit of cycling the streaming platforms that we aren't using. My wife and I, we're getting better at subscribing to services per month and then turning them off when we're done with specific shows. Now, it's kind of funny, but there's really no reason why you can't turn live TV into a more seasonal experience too. One of the big draws for live programming is sports, but that landscape is insanely complicated now and a live TV package really won't cover most fans' needs anyway. Just last week, we did a video on NFL Sunday Ticket, trying to get all your football needs met with one streaming package doesn't seem completely possible. In conclusion, well done, Hulu. This is a much stronger offering, and consumers 
always benefit from better competition. And you know this is legit when YouTube is calling out Hulu directly on their sign-up page. So we want to hear from you. How are you watching TV these days? Are you looking at mostly on-demand or streaming services? Are you using a cloud DVR? Or do you just wait for a whole season to finish and then just binge it like a Netflix show? <laughs> Drop us the fun hot takes in the comments below. And to dig a bit deeper, we have a great write up on Hulu plus live TV on our home site, reviews.org, linked below in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, and subscribing to the channel for reviews.org. I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, aka Some Gadget Guy, and I will catch you all on the next video.